Hello, uh, on the screen, you can see an image of a leaf and I'm gonna scroll down to show you several. Now for your project, you're not necessarily going to do just a leaf, uh, but the materials used here are drawing paper, watercolor pencils, and then water for blending. So that's gonna be the skill that we work on. I clicked on this because I liked the way that the artists divided up that single shape that single outline, and then they used a variety of different colors to blend and then practice working on their gradients. So that'll be what we work on, and you'll be able to choose your subject and your colors, and you'll have the primary focus of um, blending using your watercolor pencils. So here's one example where it's just a single item. And then in the background, you would work on, um, you could do mixed media or you could continue with watercolor pencils. So what I mean by mixed media is you could collage like we did for our last project, or you could choose other materials like markers or your oil pastels, sad color for the background. Um, here's a work where uh, the artist is blending multiple colors for their gradients. And then they also chose to incorporate the watercolor pencils for their entire background. So I wanted to show you kind of a range of uh, what you could do for your work. And again, you don't have to do leaves. It just so happens that uh, two of the finished projects that I found incorporated leaves. But you're welcome to use leaves if you would like. Another concept that I would like to introduce you to is um, perhaps using a tangram to divide up your spaces, kind of similar to what we see in these leaves here uh, using different polygons. Now, these are solid colors, uh, but it can help show you how to divide up the space. And I will include mathagon.com, or I'm sorry, .org, um, on the Schoology page so that you can access that if you wanna play around with it. What I like about it is it gives you some different examples of animals, and then you can move the polygons around to fit them into the spaces to figure out how you want to divide that up. The website also offers, if you go to, I wanted to show you this too, there's a lot of different concepts that you can use that also um, incorporate art. So if you want to explore that, you can go to the main page of Mathagon. Um, if you want to create your own tangrams, you can go to activities and Polypad, and I'll have the direct link on Schoology as well. And then here, you can create your own tangram. Um, oh, I'm covered up. <laughs> I'm covering up where you can change the color, but you can change the color of these, um, even though the color isn't necessarily going to be uh, the main event here. Here, you can just experiment with building your own uh, plants, animal, outline, of whatever you choose to do for your subject. You can work on fitting these shapes together. This isn't a have to, but I thought it would be uh, something neat to try out. Uh, you could also look up images online and then just draw the outline and go from there. So I will share these uh, resources with you on Schoology. And uh, before you get started on your main work, I'm going to show you some color blending techniques um, that you can practice on one of your spare pieces of paper.